Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to the poem called I To Sing America by Langston Hughes. I To Sing America is a poem written by Langston Hughes that demonstrates a yearning for equality through perseverance while disproving the idea that patriotic is limited by race. It was first published in March 1925 in a special issue of the magazine survey graphic titled Hamley, maker of the Negro. It was later reprinted in huge first volume of poetry, The Weaving Brew in 1926. Mpenzi na ukalibisha katika uchambuzi wahiri shahidi pendwa linalo I too sing America kwamba enaimbia America zaidi. Mwandishi anaitwa Langston Hughes. Na hili shairi la bwana Langston Hughes linajaribu kuzungumza katika masuala ya usawa, yani masuala kwamba tusiwe na masuala ya ubaguzi wa rangi. Na hasasa ameandikia wa Afrika wanaoishi katika nchi ya Marekani, wanaonyanyaswa na kutengwa na wazungu. Hebu naomba msikilize hili shairi lenyewe anasemaje kwa ndani ya shairi lake. I too sing America. I'm the dark brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and grow strong tomorrow. I will sit at the table. When company comes, nobody will dare say to me, eat in the kitchen. Then, beside, they will see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too am America. I too sing America is a poem written by Langston Hughes from the perspective of an African American man as a slave, a free man in the Jim Crow South, or even a domestic servant. Mpenzi msikizaji, hili shahi la bwana Langston Hughes linajaribu kuzungumzia hasasa e, mitazamo ya wa, a, wa Afrika, yani Afro American wanaoishi katika nchi ya Marekani au Ulaya hasasa e, kujizungumzia usala ya watumwa pamoja na Waafrika wanaoishi katika hizo nchi lakini wanaonekana kwamba ni watu wa kunyanyaswa ndio maana e, tumuone pale pasona anasemaje the speaker begin with declaring that he too can sing America meaning that he is claiming his right to feel patriotic toward the American, even so, he is a dark blazer who cannot sit at the table and must eat in the kitchen. They were forced to leave work, eat, and travel separated from their white cutter part. Hughes is expressing his belief that African American are variable part of American population, and that he forces a racial equal society near future. Mpenzi msikizaji, ukiangalia katika shairi la Langstone Hughes, huyu jamaa ni niga ambaye amejaribu kuzungumza kuandika shairi kwa ongelea wa Afrika wanaonyonyeshwa katika nchi za Marekani pamoja na Europe na hasa kawalenga sasa pasono kimwangalia kwamba yu ni Afro American kwamba ni Mwafrika Mweusi anayeishi katika nchi za Marekani ambaye anaongea kwamba kuna siku moja ataweza kukaa kwenye meza kubwa atakaa kwenye E, ngazi kubwa ili aweze kuwakomboa wa Afrika wenzake maana yeye anaonekana kwamba yuko same duni anaishi maisha ya duni na anaishi maisha ambayo inaonekana kwamba ni maisha yake bado ni magumu sana ndio maana sasa kwamba I too sing amen kwamba nitaweza kuimbia America hasa sasa kuwazungumzia wa Afrika wanaoishi katika nchi ya America so let us look themes which is portrayed by a poet Langston Hughes. The first theme which is the lush segregation. The mila ya kwanza ni ubaguzi wa rangi. This poem remind us far back to the common practice of racial segregation during the early 20th century when African American faced discrimination in nearly every aspect of their lives. They were forced to live, work, eat and travel separately from their white counterpart. The persona showed that when there are visitors coming is sent to eat in the kitchen, a sign of racial segregation, he says. I'm the darker brother. He sent me to eat in the kitchen when company comes. Huyu mwa Afrika, mweusi anayeishi katika nchi ya Amerika, anatuambia kwamba juu ya ubaguzi wa rangi, anasema kwamba yeye kipindi wakija watu wazito, yani watu weupe, yeye anaambiwa aende akale 
e, jikoni kwa hiyo haweza kala meza moja pamoja na wasungu hiyo hali tunao kwamba ni hali ya ubaguzi wa rangi so let us look another themes which is identity and awareness tuangalie za mila ya pili ambayo kuna masuala ya umakini kujitambua the person is aware of the african identity and his proud of it even when they seem to segregate him in enjoying some of the opportunity he does not react with violence he accepts his condition and turn it into a plus song that is all he is a darker brother who cannot sit at the table and write to feel patriotic toward america the word arm a darker brother some up his african identity furthermore he shows that he is so positive about the what happened to him he says but i love and it word and the glowing strong eh huyu mwafrika mweusi anaishi nchi ya marekani anaona kwamba ni mtu anayejitambua sana ndio maana anasema kwamba yeye ni ni mwafrika kwa ndio hai ya kujiona kwamba yeye amejitambua kwamba yeye ni mwafrika eh ambaye ndio maana anaona kama na furaha hana shaka eh juu ya hawa watu so another thing which is hope the person is optimistic about his future life he proclaims that tomorrow he will join the other at the table and no one will dare send him back to the kitchen not only that but the other will also see how beautiful he is and will therefore feel ashamed he says tomorrow i will sit at the table when company comes nobody will dare sent to me eat in the kitchen una kwamba huyu mwafrika mweusi anaishi marekani anaona kwa ana matumaini kwamba ipo siku na yeye ataka kwenye meza na hakuna mtu atakayejitokeza kumwambia kwamba aende kula jikoni kama anavyoambiwa so let us look another things which is class the last things in american everything was done on the basis of racial prejudice there are two classes in the society the lower class comprised of the black american who are sent to eat in the kitchen and the white population who eat at the table the persona says i'm the dark blazer they send me to eat in the kitchen when the company comes hapa tunaona kuna hali ya matabaka kuna tabaka la wazungu na pamoja na tabaka la waafrika waafrika wenyewe wako naambia waende kula jikoni afu wazungu wanakula mezani so the poem is about black american who claim his right to feel patriotic toward america even if he is a dark blazer who cannot sit at the table and must eat in the kitchen he expresses his belief that african american are a valuable part of american population and that he foresees a racial equal society in the near future shall we read in mongolia Mwafrika mweusi katika anaishi katika nchi ya Marekani mzalendo anajaribu kuongelea juu ya Amerika ya sasa wazungu wanao watenga na anasema kwamba wao ni mojawapo ya watu wa kutoka Amerika kwa hakuna haja ya kuwatenga so the types of poem is a lyric it is a modern poem it is has variation number of verses in each stanza specifically the lyric poem kwa hiyo hii shahidi ni lyric poem na pia ni shahidi la kisasa ambao alifuati ulali na mizani katika shairi the person is a black american this is really in the first line the second uh, the second the sec Uh, the second stanza when they say i'm the darker blaz and the last stanza i too i'm american kwamba ili shairi na muongelea mwafrika mweusi anaishi marekani so the tone is neutral and optimistic as the persona turns the mistreatment of his counterpart into a place song about his african american identity ili ukiangalia tone na mood ya huyu mwandishi iko katikati maana yeye hajaumia sana ama jambo la kawaida maana kwa sababu ni mtu aliyejitambua the poem is made up of five stanzas hili shairi limeundwa lime na beti tano so stanza one has on one line kwamba ukiangalia okay, katika ubeti wa kwanza umeundwa na mstari moja stanza two has six line kwamba ubeti wa pili una mstari sita Stanza 3 has 7 line kwamba ubeti wa 3 una mistari 7. Stanza 4 has 3 line kwamba ubeti wa 4 una mistari mitatu. Stanza 5 has one line kwamba ubeti wa 5 una mistari moja. So let us look the language used is simple and easy to understand he has used some words to kill the message across the word like darker blaza tell something about the personal background also the use of an grammatical english in the last stanza tell something about the language used for the black american i too am american instead of am an american too this is because of poetic license 
when the poet want to achieve a particular effect la lugha ile tumika ni rahisi sana ndo maana hata lugha kuvunja grammar ameweza kuvunja kwa mfano amesema kwamba i too am american baada ya kusema am an american too so let us look at figures speech tuangalie tamadhari za semi example symbolism darker symbolizes african or black african kwamba darker neno darker linawakilisha mu afrika tomorrow stand for future kwamba neno tomorrow linamaanisha kwamba eh, maisha ya baadaye kitchen symbolize opportunity kwamba jiko linaonyesha kwamba linawakilisha kwamba nafasi ya mtu kwamba yuko hali ya duni also let us look parallelism eh, ulali umfanano kwamba kunaona kwamba party i love and eat well and grow strong hiyo eh, tunaita parallelism another alteration tunaona kwamba consonant zinazofuatana eh, when when ka, company comes so consonant c eh, when company comes another figure should be exaggeration or hyperbole i'm the darker brother it is not possible to someone to be darker kwamba hiyo tunaona kwamba katia chumvi kwamba si hakuna mtu mweusi kupita ati another iron eh maswala ya kinyume there is an iron in this line here since we expect someone undergoing racial injustice will be angry it poorly and grow weak but this one is the opposite kwamba unaona kwamba huyu jamaa yuko kwenye hali ya kufly tunaona tuna expect kwamba mtu aliye tengwa tunaona kwamba iko hali ya eh, huzuni kwa hiyo unaona kwamba ni kinyume so Uh, let us look at the message the message uh, like racial segregation should be abolished kwa maswala ya ubaguzi wa rangi nitakwa pigo chini don't judge don't judge the book by its cover kwa sababu siwezi kujudge eh, cover ya kitabu kabla ujangalia nyuma na maana huwezi kujua mwenzako anafikiria kitu gani it is good to remain optimistic about life ni jambo la heri kuwa kuwa na matumaini ili kuweze kusonga maisha yako African should be proud of the African identity kwamba sisi wa Afrika inatakiwa tujisifie me, ya Afrika mambo ya Afrika na tamaduni za Kiafrika. So the relevance in those countries that is have racial segregation kwamba kwa mfano kuna nchi ambazo zina bado zinazidi masuala ya ubaguzi wa rangi ipo kabisa kwa mfano nchi ya South Africa, Misri, eh, Libya. So there are people who are always optimistic no matter what circumstances they go through. There are there are classes in most kind of society still developed. Masuala ya ubaguzi mada matabaka bado yanaendelea. Asanteni sana kwa kuweza kunisikiliza hapo ndo nimeweza kufika tamati ya uchambuzi wa hili shairi pendwa la Langston Hughes huyu ni nigga kutoka nchi ya Amerikani. E, kwa majina anaitwa Teacher Kadigo Doto Njike. Usahau kusubscribe, ku like na kushare na comment chini ya hii video. Ukipenda uweze kunitafuta kwa namba yangu 0676861579. Bye.